Hubble Bubble, Doyle means trouble. It's our Halloween episode and today we're talking about how to have magic powers in your business. Welcome to Bernadette TV, where we help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. Today, we're talking about how to have magic powers in your business. Yes, there really is a magical power available to you. It's the same power that creates money from thin air. We'll have others gasping in amazement at your special powers if you master this one critical skill, and that is being able to attract all the clients you want, when you want, paying the fees you want. It's the ultimate security in a very unsecure world. Your ability to produce cash on demand through the power of attracting clients is truly the equivalent of modern day magic. Simply put, nothing else has as much potential to drastically change your life for the better as mastering this one critical skill. I've made a personal fortune and helped others to do the same just knowing how to do this. So here's my magic formula for business success. One, read their minds. People don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. You need to understand your clients' innermost fears, hopes and desires. Put yourself in your prospect's shoes. What is she feeling and thinking? What is she saying to herself about her situation? What keeps her awake at night? Two, spellbind your audience by pacing them. Pacing is about getting agreement. When someone has any form of agreement with you, they're more likely to continue agreeing with you. Pacing statements are statements that are undeniably true for the customer, so they're things you can agree with. When you mirror or reflect the client's thoughts, concerns, worries, fears, needs, dreams even, you're pacing. The key is to use their words and phrases. This actually has a hypnotic effect and creates a deep rapport and feeling of, you understand me. Three, create a solution that is the magic wand that gives them what they want. I actually ask my clients, if we could wave a magic wand and have this any way you wanted, what would you ask for? Their answers will point you to exactly what you need to offer them to give them what they want. So there you have it. My magic formula for having more success in your business. Here's a quick recap. One, read their minds. Two, spellbind them by pacing their thoughts, fears and desires. And three, give them the magic one they wish for. Now it's time to put it into action. First, set up a conversation with someone who represents your ideal client. Ask questions and really listen. What do they most want? What are their biggest challenges? Two, ask yourself, how can you incorporate this discovery into your marketing? Do you need to tweak or change what you offer? Or maybe you need to reposition it to show your clients how it is the magic wand that they've been wishing for. Come on, share your insights over on my blog. Be part of this ever-growing community using magic to grow their business. We want to hear from you. If you like this episode, please hit the subscribe button and the lovely people at YouTube will magically ensure that you don't miss a single episode. And if you want even more how-to advice and resources, come on over to my blog and register for my step-by-step -step marketing advice only de delivered by email. And finally, who do you know who needs to see this episode? Please share it with them right now. They will thank you for it. That's it from me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV. Something has changed within me, something is not the same. I'm tired of playing by the rules <laughs> of someone else's game. Simon Cowell, give me a ring, 555-7920. Five, 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 <laughs> is this going to take long? Because I've got my bone parked on a meter and I need to top it up. Happy Halloween from Bernadette TV.